Hi guys, it's Jasmine from Art Resin, and I'm going to show you how to do window painting today. So this is uh, this is just an old window. It's a double pane of glass here with layers of Art Resin on both sides, tinted with resin tint, and it looks good here, if I do say so. But it looks really good in front of the window. It just absolutely lights up because it's all translucent back here, just lights on fire. So I'm going to show you how to take just a regular old scrap of glass like this and do a fun window painting with it. All right, we can get started. So here's my pane of glass. I'm gonna probably do this one horizontal. Obviously you can do either. So the first thing you're gonna do before we start anything else is clean it off. This was like absolutely filthy when it started. So we can start creating. Um, the first step is gonna be painting a foreground on the front and then a, a background in the back. And the reason why we're gonna do that is because we got this really nice double pane of glass like this. So it's gonna really create a lot of depth in our picture. You're gonna be able to see that the, the background's farther away from the, the front ground and it, it just looks really nice. So I'll show you how that works. I think today I'm gonna paint just a landscape. I think they're really nice. You can use water-based ink, alcohol ink, even just acrylic paint. I really like using the ink because it just gives like a more like abstract, interesting feeling. The important thing about this is you're gonna wanna choose a composition that doesn't fill up your entire space because you wanna leave a lot of background area so that you can see the resin pour because that's really gonna be the star of the show here, not your foreground. So I chose this ink because you see how it just really captures the idea of a tree. So I just find it really inspiring to go along and kind of let the tree, you know, pick itself out of the ink. Okay, so I'm gonna try and work on the background now. So the foreground is still drying. If it's like really wet still, you probably don't wanna do this because it's gonna like drip down. But number one, it looks really cool when it drips down. And two, mine's not very wet, so it's okay, I missed the case. So I'll turn it around. So now I'm looking at the back here, and I, obviously I can see all my stuff through it, right? So I'm just gonna take this like sp spongy brush, and back here I'm going to put in a whole bunch of little trees to make it look like there's like really far away and like down low, like this cliff here is, is uh, hanging over a valley or something. It doesn't have to be like detailed at all because it's so far away, right? So, yep. I love it. Now our ink is dry on the front, so I'm gonna come back with the paint marker to like kind of fill in the trees a little bit. So I don't wanna put this stuff down on the paper again, so I'll just use these little cups to hold it up. So the ink is on there pretty tenuously right now, so you don't wanna like come like scraping through with your marker, so you just, you wanna be delicate with it so you don't flake it off. And I think that looks really great, so we're done with this step and I'll show you what's next. Okay, so now we have our trees painted and our backgrounds laid, so we're gonna tape up the edges and that's just gonna keep all the resin from sliding off. And then we're gonna mix up some resin and we're gonna tint it and we'll pour it on and that'll create our sky background. All right, so we're gonna mix up some art resin um, with our regular one to one ratio here. And we're gonna stir it for three minutes, scraping the sides and the bottom. So I'm gonna pour it into each of these individual cups and then to those cups, we're gonna add our resin tint and that'll make up all the different colors that are gonna be part of our sky. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do like a purple to indigo to kind of teal color. So I'm gonna start with a few drops of neon pink in this one. And I'm gonna take the neon blue and add some of that. So this is a nice color, but you'll notice when I like bring it up onto the walls of the cup, you'll see that it, it's almost clear. So you wanna keep that in mind. So when it's poured over the whole thing, it's gonna be a lot thinner, so you're gonna to have to add a lot more color into your cup. You can see like how it's super dark in the cup, but then if I bring it up in here, it's just like a nice plum color. That's what it's gonna look like. All right, let's move on to our next cup here. It's a nice periwinkle blue. So you'll notice I used neon blue and neon pink to mix this up and not regular blue and red to try and make this. So the, the pink kind of tones it down a bit, makes it a little look a little softer. And now, I'm gonna go for like a teal. You wanna be careful. You wanna make sure that the green isn't overpowering. All right, and now we're gonna be moving on to our next cup here. So we're gonna add white to this cup. There's not very much resin in it because we don't need very much resin. 
This is gonna look like the clouds. It's just gonna be a whole different aspect to differentiate between these more translucent colors. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna tint it just very light blue. Okay, uh, now this next cup over here, I'm gonna be adding glitter because I think once it gets all mixed in it, it looks like a very organic looking canopy of stars in, in a sky. Okay, so we got our colors mixed up and now it's time to pour onto our background. There's no right or wrong here. It's really about being creative. It's really about finding the patterns that speak to you. It's really about being loose as an artist and feeling what you like and, and seeing it come to life in front of you. Definitely experiment. So have a lot of fun with it. Okay, so I'm gonna add glitter here. So the glitter sinks to the bottom, so don't add a big glob of it in one spot, just sort of scatter it through. And then I'm gonna add a whole bunch of clear, and it's just really gonna open up cells and colors and it's gonna look super cool, I promise. So you can kind of move the colors around now using a hair dryer or by blowing on it. And I'm just gonna blow on it right now. So here we go. <laughs> this is so undignified. Well, now that I'm all out of breath, let's torch it. So the great part about using resin tint is that it's non-flammable, so you can torch it when you're finished, which is really nice and then you get rid of all the bubbles, but you don't have to be too concerned about things landing in here or having any sort of imperfections, because this is the back of your piece. All right, well, we're finished up here. Usually at this stage, we'd add a cover, but this is actually the back of our piece, so it doesn't really matter, so I'm just gonna leave it out, and uh, I'll come back to it tomorrow. Hey guys, we're back. So here it is today. I think that it looks really good. I really like the colors and how they transition, so, the only thing that I did off camera was I added a layer of resin to the front here. And the reason for that is you see where all these like drips come through from the back? These snuck through the tape while we poured our back. So once we have this layer of resin on the front, we're safe to grind these off. So you're just gonna wanna take a belt sander or palm sander or a Dremel or even just the grinder and you're just gonna buzz these right off. But you don't have to worry about your art. It's gonna be all protected because it's covered in a nice layer of resin. And then don't worry about scratching it up because when you pour another layer on top, it's gonna to restore like the shine and everything. It'll be beautiful again. So we have our piece. I think it looks really great over here, but let's find out what it looks like in front of the window. All right, so here it is in front of the window. I absolutely love it. It really glows. It's not even a particularly sunny day and you can see it really glows like a real sunrise. So. Do your glass art, put it in the window, and it's super impressive. I absolutely love them. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.